grade five and six, and welcome back to the sofa. Today, we are going to start with a song that you already know. Before I sing the song though, I am going to sing a couple of different patterns and I want you to be my echo. And I want to see if you notice as I start to do some different patterns, do you start to get an idea of what the song might be? Does it remind you of something? Are we ready? La sola. Did that remind you of anything? There's been a costume change. <laughs> just kidding, it's just editing Ms. Voyeur here after the fact to film a couple things that I forgot. So I am now going to play you the melody of the song on recorder and I wanna see if you can figure out from the melody which song this is. Here we go. Recognize it? I'm gonna sing it now, and if you remember the words, you can sing along. Hey ho, nobody home. Meat nor drink nor money have I none. Yet will I be merry. ho, nobody home. Meat nor drink nor money have I none. Yet will I That could go on forever. <laughs> Do you remember that one? I'm gonna sing it one more time and I want you to sing it with me this time if you remember. So hey, ho, nobody home, meat nor drink nor money have I none, yet will I be merry. So we're saying I will still be merry, I will still be happy even though there's nothing to eat, nothing to drink, there's no money, right? It's an old, old song, it's in Old English, which is why the words, the order of the words might sound a little bit funny, but that's what we're singing about. So here we go, see if you can sing with me. And as we're singing, see what you notice about the way that the melody sounds. What do you think you know about this song based on how it sounds, are you ready? Hey ho, nobody home, meat nor drink nor money have I none, yet will I be merry. Hey ho, nobody home, meat nor drink nor money have I none, yet will I be merry. Hey ho, we could keep going. So what did you notice? What do you think you can tell me about this song? If you were thinking that it is in a minor key, then you are correct. Remember, when we talk about major and minor, major is when things sound happy or upbeat or light or positive or carefree, all of those things, right? Minor is when things might sound sad or angry or spooky or mysterious. Sometimes they might even sound powerful because remember how we talk about just because a song is minor doesn't always mean that it's about something sad, right? Sometimes people use minor keys as a way to write about things that are powerful or things that are magnificent. So remember, the difference between major and minor depends on where in our scale that we are starting. So our usual scale is when we're starting on Do. Let's sing together. Do, Re, Mi, Fa, Sol, La, Ti, Do. Go backwards. Do, Ti, La, So, Fa, Mi, Re, Do. That is our major scale. In a major scale, there are two spots where the sound, where the notes that are next to each other, where those pitches are closer together. Most of these pitches are what we call a whole step 
apart from each other, right? You're going from do to re, that's nice and big. Re to mi, it's a whole step. Mi to fa, mi 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 fa. When it starts to sound like a shark, that's when you know it's not a whole step anymore. It's now a half of a step. We're only going a tiny little bit. These two are so close together. So me and fa, that's one of our half steps. Fa, so, nice and big. So, la, sounds happy, nice and big. La, ti, sounds happy. Ti, do, ti, do, ti, do, ti, do, ti, do, ti, do, ti, do. It's a shark. So that's gonna be another one of our half steps. Now, if this is a major scale, when we start on Do, a minor scale is then when we start on La. Instead of starting on Do, we go Do, Ti, La. And we start down here on La, and we go La to La. Here is our minor scale. Now we're gonna start on La instead. So if this was our Do from before. Do, Re, Mi, Fa, Sol, La, Ti, Do. Do, Ti, La, that's where we're starting. It's nice and low, so be really gentle. Start here on La. La, Ti, Do, Re, Mi, Fa, Sol, La. Go backwards. La, so Fa, Mi, Re, Do, Ti, La. So we didn't change any of our pitches from before. We just started on a different pitch. Instead of starting on Do, we started on La. And the reason that it sounds minor is because look at this. The position of the semitones or the half steps, I said half steps earlier, I think, but there's two names. You can say semitone or a half step. So the position has changed. This should be one, two, between two and three, four, five, and six. So in a minor scale, those half steps, those semitones, the pitches that are closer together, it's between two and three and between five and six. In our major scale, they were between three and four and between seven and eight. So as you can see, they are in different spots. And that's why a minor scale sounds different. That's why the tonality of the scale, that's why the way the melody sounds, it sounds different. Okay, I want you to start singing and I will be singing with you so you can still hear the melody. But then my clone is going to appear <laughs> and clone Ms. Voyer is going to do something different. And I want you to think about what it is that clone Ms. Voyer is doing. Are you ready? So you're gonna start with regular real Ms. Voyer. Keep staying with me. Clone Ms. Voyer will be over here. Are you ready? Ready and hey-ho. Did you notice what clone Ms. Voyer was doing? If you said that clone Ms. Voyer started later than us, you are correct. If you remembered the word and said clone Ms. Voyer was singing in canon, then you are also correct. Clone Ms. Voyer was singing in canon with us. Remember, canon is where one person or group of people starts first, and then another group of people starts a little bit later on. They're still singing the same song. They just start later than that first group, and together it creates harmony. All right, now I bet that I don't have to point out different consonant sounds that I want to hear. Things like t or k, right? I bet we've practiced enough. I bet you can find them all, but can we sing one more time? And can you think about our articulation? Can you think about us being clear with our words? Are you ready? Do you think that you could sing this time with clone Ms. Voyer? Do you think you could sing with her instead of with me? See if you can do it. So I'm gonna start, you come in in canon, you come in with my clone.
challenge today, we are going to learn another part that instead of singing in canon, it's just going to be harmony. So we are both going to start at the same time. Here's what the harmony part sounds like. When you think you've got it, join in. La, mi, mi, la. got it it's not too tricky so I am still gonna keep singing that with you and showing you when the pitch changes but over top a layer on the melody so we are singing this harmony part and in the background I will sing the melody for you ready here we go ready and la mi mi la now and do the same thing again if you want to sing the melody along with us you can go back and do the same thing just singing the other part all right now instead of singing that harmony we are now going to try and play that harmony on recorder so if I told you that la is this note right here this pitch right here can we figure out together what this pitch would be is it on a line or is it in a space it's in a space so let's say together ready F a, that's our pitch A. That's the A where we use two fingers on the recorder, two fingers on the front and our back thumb. So if this pitch is La, can we figure out together what pitch Mi is going to be? Let's see if we can do it. Let's go down in the scale with our pitches. So if this is La, then we'd have So, Fa, Mi. Mi would be on the very bottom line. I'll show you one more time. So if this is La in the second space, so would be on the second line, fa would be on the first space, and mi would be on the bottom line. So if mi is on the bottom line, what pitch is that gonna be? E, mi is going to be E. Our E on the recorder is where we have three fingers on the top, two fingers on the bottom, and our back thumb. So if we have A for la, E for mi, and we follow the same pattern of la, mi, mi, la, then it would go A, E, E, A, la, mi, mi, la. Can we try that together? Ready, here we go. Got it? So you play with me so you can keep watching my fingers if you need them and I will sing over top of us. I'll sing our song. Ready, here we play and How'd you do? Now, if you're looking for a challenge in our Google Classroom, I am going to put the music for this whole song, for the entire melody, if you would like to try playing it on the recorder, playing the whole thing on the recorder. It's a little bit tricky, especially at the end, because we use our high E. High E is like low E, but no back thumb. All right, before we go today, I have a brand new song for you. So I'm gonna sing it this first time. Listen to the words and see if you can figure out what the song is about. Black socks, they never get dirty. The longer you wear them, the blacker they get. Sometimes I think I should wash them, but something keeps telling me, no, no, not yet, not yet, not yet, not yet, not yet. All right, so did you get it? <laughs> it's saying that black socks, you should never have to wash them because they only ever get darker in color when they get dirty. <laughs> this time, can you listen again and see if you can find all of those different consonant sounds that I am emphasizing? All right, now, can you repeat after me the first two words in the song? Black socks. 
a and a are both, we want them to be really tall vowels. So, black socks, black socks. Even though it's a and a, I still want our mouth shape to be totally tall and up and down in our goalposts. So I'll go first, you be my echo, ready? Black socks, black socks. Good job. Never and dirty. Are we gonna sing, never get dirty? Are we gonna lean on the R's? No, we're gonna take those R's right out. Never, never get dirty. Never get dirty. Blacker, blacker they get. Longer, are we gonna do that one either? No. Black socks, they never get dirty. The longer you wear them, the blacker they you think you can do that phrase? Here we go. Black socks, they never get dirty. The longer you wear them, the blacker they get. Sometimes I think I should wash them, but something keeps telling me, no, no, not yet. Sometimes. We want it to be the same thing. We want both of those to be really tall vowels. Sometimes. Ready, go. Sometimes. Good job. You think you can do that phrase? Here we go. Sometimes I think I should wash them, but something keeps telling me no, no, not yet. Not yet, not yet, not yet, not yet. Okay, you think we can sing the whole thing? Here we go. Nice tall, tall vowels in the middle of our words. Oh, blah, right? Really, really tall. And take away all of those R's, right? Be really fancy. Don't be a pirate, R. And make sure we have nice T's and K's and all of those really nice crisp consonant sounds. Black socks, they never get dirty. Ready and black socks, they never get dirty. The longer you wear them, the blacker they get. Sometimes I think I should wash them, but something keeps telling me no, no, not yet. Not yet, not yet, not yet. Not yet. Good singing today, grade five and grade six. I will see you soon. Let's collab out together. Ready? One, two, three.